uh, let me just check the mic. Okay, so let's get started. So now what I'm currently working on is, just a minute, okay. So the thing that I'm currently working on is how to generate uh, thumbnails for videos. So for example, all these images, they have a blur hash, but if you see uh, this particular video right here, it does not have a blur hash. So what I'm trying to do is uh, maybe like find a way for, to basically uh, take a frame of this video and upload it as an image and then generate a blur hash for the image. So till now what I am able to do is if I inspect. So I'm able to get the, uh, so I'm able to get the base 64 for the, uh, uh, upload image so upload video for example if i go here if i go to downloads and i drop this so then on drop i get this huge uh base 64 string which hopefully i can add uh to my uh to, to my database and then it comes up and then once I add the database, then we get our blur hash in it. So this is how I'm doing it right here. So get video thumbnail. Not sure what this exactly does, but what I know is uh, based on the file, it creates a new canvas and it draws an image based on the canvas, uh, based on the video. It draws an image on the canvas based on the video data. So that is all I, uh, all I can understand for now. But I wanted to find a way to take this and put this inside my database. So let's... Uh, Let's try that. Let's see if, no, no. Before I put this inside my database, this needs to first go into uh, S3. So all this is already done, but I, have, I haven't done for a base 64 string like that. Oh, we got a new comment. Hey, sorry for bothering you. I want to offer promotion to your channel. Use followers chat. Price is lower than competitor. The quality, flexible content order management system. Oh, uh, thank you for the offer, but I'm not looking for any uh, payment types promotions for this channel. But yep, thanks for reaching out. Okay, uh, back to the stream. So where was I? Where was I? Where was I? Where was I? Okay. So here I am with my thumbnail image. So I need to find a way to put this, put this inside and see. So if I go to upload file, what do I have? What do I have? Yeah, so hmm. all right, so this entire thing should happen on the API side. So this is what gets it to the base 64 before, but if the file type is video, then before this happens, then I just did have a condition. If the type is video, then do so and so. Okay, let's uh, let's try that. So what I'm going to do is just remove that. 
this, do it like this, go to my API and I am not going, I'm not going to add anything. So if contents is there, do the following is no, okay, okay, okay. All right, so I'm just going to comment out all the logic for contents and I just want the base64 to be uh, console logged. Ah, that's it. So this should happen and then with this, so it's console log data My God, why is refresh taking so long? <laughs> okay, here we are. So now if I go over here, take the screen recording and I put this. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to say pending because nothing is there. Oh no. Okay, data, send files, dot, All right, now let's try the same. Okay, so now we have a bunch of files. So just, yep, so meme type, so this is what I want. So video slash MP4, so if, File type, so we already have this. If, if file type equals equal to this right over here, then what I want to do is the following right here. Let me just, oh no, but the canvas is not going to be there. Don't think this is going to work because where are we going to find a canvas? In Node.js. But let's try this anyway. Uh, okay. Let me do this. Now there's no way this is going to work, that I'm sure. Okay. Then did a thumbnail. And now if I drop here, there we go, we get an error. And it basically says document is not there. So, yep, like I mentioned before, uh, there's no way this is going to work because our document and canvas is something that is only available on the client side and on the server side, it's not going to be present. 
So on the server, you're not going to have your documents in Canvas. So, so there are two things that we can do. Either find a way to get the base 64 without using document in Canvas on the server side. If that is not possible, then if uh, the type is video, I need to send an extra parameter on the API. So on the API's, uh, API's body, I need to send the base64 but the base64 string is extremely large it's, it's it's a big string so not sure if the API is going to accept that hmm. but anyway let's see uh, I need to do, do more digging but this is the path I'm going to follow try these two the, 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 the two methods that I just mentioned before so but yep that's it for this video guys I'm going to continue on this, but thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.